guys, so we just got back from the grocery store and I figured since I do see a lot of people upload these grocery haul type videos on YouTube and people do ask me pretty often what kind of foods that me and Maddie and what we like to pick up at the grocery store, I figured I would do a quick little grocery haul slash unbagging, I guess, for you. So before we get into everything that we picked up today, we do go food shopping once or twice a week depending on, you know, if we run out of something or if something comes up or in the mood for something that we may not have in the house, things like that. But um, as much as we talk about flexible dieting, we do try to stick to, for the most part, minimally processed foods. So lots of fruits, veggies, fibers, lean proteins, things like that. And as much as we have rice cakes and chips and ice cream in the freezer, the freezer is also stocked with, you know, broccoli, kale, spinach, green beans, things like that. Tons of fruit in the fridge at all times, even frozen fruit in the freezer for if Matt makes smoothies or whatever. But it's important to kind of balance it out. With if you're going to have chips and ice cream, you still need to make sure you're getting in your lean proteins, your fruits, your veggies, your micronutrients, things like that. So now that that's cleared up and out of the way, this is just some of the stuff that we picked up today. This isn't like a full food shop. This is just stuff we run out of or we're in the mood for. So I guess we'll start with the carbs over here. So we got two different kinds of wraps because Matt likes a certain kind, I like a certain kind, so his and hers. And then we also got two different breads because again, we like different ones. So mine and Matt's. His is just the honey, honey whole wheat. Mine is just the white bread. And then we got just a whole bunch of drinks. We got tons of diet soda. Um, these fruit waters, I love. They are so good for me, especially because I get kind of like sick and tired of just plain old water and I don't drink as much as I need to. So having these now definitely helps me make sure I'm staying on top of that and getting enough water in. Same with these. We get these Crystal Light packets all the time. So that one's just plain lemonade. Oh, and then milk too. Fat free fair life milk. It's got... 13 grams of protein in one serving. One serving. So if you do this with like a protein shake, helps get the protein up. And then this is Matt's thing. He's like on a Jello kick. I like Jello. I don't love it, but I mean you could pretty much eat this whole entire package for I think it's like 20 calories, and it's it makes a big bowl and it is good. You put a little fat-free whipped cream on it or something. And then these Vita Tops are really good for breakfast time. They have tons of fiber in them. You could put them in the microwave to heat them up or you can even just, I put them in the toaster oven and then the microwave, I know, excessive, but they're delicious. And then I have been on, I okay, disclaimer, I hate Greek yogurt. I think it tastes absolutely disgusting, but these Greek 100 whips, the chocolate cherry, are so good. It tastes like chocolate mousse, obviously with cherries, but it's so, so good. And again, they have tons of protein in them. They're low calorie, low carb, low fat, so that helps. And this is Matt's Greek yogurt. I hate fat-free plain Greek yogurt, but it does actually make a good substitute for sour cream if you don't have any or are in the mood for it. Um, you can use it in lots of different things. You don't have to just eat it plain. I personally can't eat it plain. And then we picked up some extra lean ground chicken breast and three packages of regular just chicken breast that will grill up. Some of it will freeze depending on how much chicken we feel like eating this week. Got some lettuce. Uh, Matt's egg substitute. I actually can't eat eggs. I'm allergic to the protein in eggs. It doesn't sit right in my stomach, but those are good to have in the house for Matt. Just plastic bags. That's boring. Some celery for snacking or even to throw on salads. Trader Joe's makes, I think it's called... Reduced guilt. Redu yeah, reduced yeah. guilt guacamole, and it's in like a thing like this, and it's so good. So if that's like that, that'll be good. And then we got just some bell peppers cook them up or eat them raw as snacks, whatever. Honeycrisp apples. And then we just got some light maple syrup because I was going to get Kodiak cakes and they did not have the right ones, so I didn't do that. But yeah, that was pretty much what we picked up today. And like I said, this isn't everything that we eat all the time throughout the week. It was just some things we ran out of or were in the mood for, like these yogurts or something like that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below of some other video, ide video ideas you guys would like to see. You guys have been leaving tons of good comments, and I am working on getting those videos done. I have a few videos coming this week, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.